All right, we're talking about the blues and building uh, classic blues lines all over chords, uh, not thinking in terms of scales as much as we're thinking in terms of the important notes in the chord, or in other words, defining the chord. All right, uh, in the key of A, we have one chord and then four chord and that's where we're going to stop today d7 so that uh, that d7 chord uh, in, in this case in this voicing I'm spelling it with a one a five a seven and there's my three right and I want to take that three and lower the three from a minor three to a major three Okay. So here, there's my there's my three in the lower octave. I can do the same thing with the three here, or it's it's again part of all of these. lines, right? That flat three to the major three. Um, I, I would say that the most common um, blues lines and the most common way of manipulating blues lines is with the flat three moving to the major three. Don't move the major three to the flat three. It, it, it just sounds, sounds backward. Um, you like it you know maybe you use it but uh, traditionally all right okay and now uh, if, we, if we take the D7 like this which is just like an A7 moved up to, to the fr uh, seventh frets uh, on the on the top, I, I have uh, I have the seventh of the of the chord right. Here's my seventh in a low octave. So there's my seventh. Here's my flat three, and here's my major three. String bend. Right. So those, those, those threes and sevens are the most characteristic sound of a dominant seventh chord. You don't necessarily need the root. Let the bass player deal with that. And uh, you don't necessarily need the fifth either because it's, you know, it's okay, but, but it, it doesn't define the chord like the three and the seven. So when you're soloing over chords, right, thinking chordally, you're thinking... You're, you're, you're thinking three and seven. And, uh, and what this is about is lowering the three and ra uh, to a minor third and raising that to a major third. Now, in the video previous to this, I did the A7 chord, and we did some lines on the A7 chord. But those same lines can be taken up to a D7 position up to D here using the same chord voicing and they'll repeat themselves. Right? So I'm I'm now playing I'm play, now playing in this in the key of in the key of um, well effectively in the key of D but I'm in it's still in an A blues. I could take that up. So my point being that whatever lines you're using in A, you can move those around to D and E as well. Or you can think vertically, stay where you are, you know, in in the position, and uh, and 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 play the the D right and, and the A. 
What's this lesson about again? Defining chords in the blues with single note lines. I hope that was a help to you. Uh, there's a whole bunch there. And I want you to experiment. That's sort of the point, right? Is that you will experiment with these ideas. Uh, just remember to look for the three and the seven. And when you found that three, when you've hunted it down in each of the octaves, uh, and then, then lower it and then raise it again to define the chord of the moment. Thanks. See you soon.